This is going to be a new revolution in the history of video editing. Rising of a new era that's going to change everything. Starting a new legacy of editing. Old style is gone. This presenting masterpiece in every single second. An inspiration to show your idea into an insane visual that's never beatable ever. Welcome back to the channel. So last time around we ended somewhere around here with this first scene. And so many of you have requested for me to complete the tutorial. So I'm just going to complete it in this video. And what we are going to do is I'm going to get a fusion composition. I'm just going to make it yeah, somewhere around here. I can do it in one fusion composition, but I don't want to do that. I just want to use different fusion compositions. Then from here is an I'm going to use another one and the, and finally we are going to end up. So I'm just going to get another fusion composition. So you can put it below here or up here. It doesn't really matter. Anywhere you want. So let's the next fusion composition. Yeah has to start from here where is a uh, painting is yeah the next fusion confusion has to start from here and finally this one but it's basically the same thing except this scene which is entirely 3d get another fusion composition these are the three scenes we will do in this video so let's just get straight into it i'm just going to open this fusion composition in the fusion page if you have not watched the previous video just go back and watch the few previous video and i think everything will be okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to as we did in the last video i'm just going to get all of this in place and i'll explain all of that all right so i've made all the necessary arrangements if you look at it this is what we got here let's start from the new legacy this is the text if you have been following this channel you should be already know how to do this even with your eyes closed so what you're going to do is control c this text Control shift v to paste an instance come to the instance you're going to the instance the first element and uncheck that make sure let me just take that to the screen so i can be seeing that and i can increase it somewhere around here Good. now come to element 5 the instance that one and check it again now it's going to appear white come to appearance and make sure you select this box change from character to word you're going to bring down this extend horizontal see it appears like that get the output and connect it to the mass section of this text then you can go back to viewing this now if you go back to where to somewhere around let's go to maybe frame 12 you're going to come back here right click and select follower now it's going to open this modifier go to shading go to element 5 and make sure you check that now you're going to keyframe the opacity at frame 12. Come to somewhere around frame 15. Keyframe the opacity again. Go to the first one. Take it down to 0. Now we're just going to go to where it, we can be able to see it. Okay, frame 22. We're going to go to timing and go to delay. We're just going to take the delay of the where the word legacy is uh, here. Somewhere around there. Yes, I think that one delay of 2.45 works. Just go to spline select all of these and hit s it's an opacity animation for the text of edit which starts around frame 29 so at frame 29 come to shading keyframe the opacity and go to frame go to frame 40 and take the up keyframe the opacity go back to frame 29 take the opacity all the way down to zero yes it appears like that down here we have this text i added a rectangle mask here to fade it down here because you can't completely see it you can't see this down part so i added a rectangle and i increase the soft edge this is it increase the soft edge from here and i duplicated it down here now we come to this we're going to come to the mesh node and take the opacity somewhere around 0 0.5 you can just come here and add a transform node we might need to use the transform node later or maybe not it doesn't matter now we're going to come up here that's the uh, that's the only animation for this one so we're going to come here old style is the same thing we're going to do so i'm just going to quickly do that and show you the keyframes we're going to keyframe the opacity at frame 50 and come to somewhere around let's say frame 56 keyframe it again we're going to go back to the first one take it down to zero now let's just come somewhere let's just come somewhere around here go to timing and take the delay all the way up somewhere around here i think so this is it you keyframe it at frame 52 and frame 56 now you use a delay value of 2.17 just going to control c this one 
control v now what i can do here i'm going to come to this text copy and come here paste settings good i've copied what is here and paste it here if i delete this mesh node from here connect this one here i'm going to look for where this this one starts yes the same delay of 2.45 will work let me show you this is the size and this is the layout come to this one this is the size and this is the layout now from here all you have to do is to make this thing 3d i'm going to add an image plane add a camera and to this one to the red to the merge i'm going to add a render or 3d enter i'm going to connect it here now it appears if i take this to the screen you won't see anything all you have to do is go to frame 40 where it's in place if i take this merge here you're going to see that the camera and the image plane are on the same plane so we're just going to take the z value behind till it's almost where yeah somewhere around yes around 5.24 is good we're going to keyframe this so i frame 45 you're going to keyframe this z, z translation you're going to go back to frame 3 keyframe it again and at frame 3 we're just going to take it all the way to this man is out like that somewhere around here 0 0.09 now we're just going to select the camera and take it to spline zoom to fit select all these out cubic we have that so if you play it now yes we have that so i'm just gonna connect this one here and make sure we're viewing the media out here right i'm gonna add a transform node here and i think i should add a transform node here yes and let's add another one here we might not need all of these but this one we're just going to take it out of the screen like that somewhere around here come to this transform node at frame 45 you're going to keyframe the center x and y and you're going to go to somewhere around frame 90 keyframe it again now at frame 90 you're going just going to shift it to the side like this make sure this one is at the center yes so if you play that now just use ease out cubic it would work that's all about this part of the animation there's nothing else so we go back to the edit page and i'm going to come to this other fusion component composition and we're going to open that fusion composition in the fusion page now you see this one there there isn't so much to do here i'm going to view that here let me just quickly show you what i've done here good you have this presenting masterpiece this is the size and this is the center x and y this masterpiece this is the size and this is the center x and y in every single second is here you're going to do an opacity animation for it too yes same thing this is the size and you're going to do an opacity the animation for that now i'm just going to show you how to animate that one you're going to come to maybe frame 14 if you look at it there's a drop shadow here these are the drop shadow settings this is the transform size of this painting now you're going to come to this one let me just i'm going to add a transform node at frame 14 you're going to keyframe the side come to frame 50 keyframe it again go to the frame 14 and take it down to zero good so that it scales down from the center there you look at it good so you're just going to take that to spline is out cubic now the next thing is this masterpiece the text is just an opacity animation go to shading at frame 16 keyframe the opacity maybe if you come to frame 30 keyframe it again go to the first one take it down to zero and that will be it yes now we are going to add a transform node here you're going to see that it's it scales up from the center so what we're just going to do is add frame zero keyframe the size and come to somewhere around frame 40 keyframe the size again go back to the first one and keyframe the size to and take down the size to zero and do that one same thing out cubic it's basically the same thing now we can connect that one here now this is the next one where you have the ball we have to do this together this one this is the text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the line spacing for this text to somewhere around here then i'm going to increase the size Let's highlight this one and select character level styling i'm going to select two and i'm going to go to modifier and increase the size of that till around there yes because that size is bigger i think that this one works yeah we're going to add this light bulb here first of all we are going to come to this transform and make sure it's rotated minus 90 degrees then we are going to take it down let's go to we're going to take it down to somewhere around here 
where you're going to bring down the size now if you look at it you realize that this thing it has been masked out so we can either use a, a rectangle mask connect the rectangle mask here and we're going to get so let's animate this idea what we have to do is for this one what you're going to take down is take is the extend vertical so you're going to come to the character level styling right click and select follower a frame 75 keyframe the opacity go to go to frames 82 keyframe the opacity again go back to the first one take it all the way down to zero the problem we have is we have to arrange this um uh, i think a delay of 1.5 would work yes i'm just going to connect this one here and we're going to add a transform node here we are not done with this one we need to keyframe this one too and the bob we need to keyframe the idea so i frame 14 come to the text i which is this one we're going to keyframe the shading go to frame 20 keyframe it again go back to the first one take it down to zero yes i is going to disappear then come to frame 18 come to the merge node containing the bob you're going to keyframe it at frame 18 go to frame 22 keyframe it again at frame 18 you're going to take it down to zero now for this text you're going to keyframe at frame 20 and keyframe it at frame 22 come back to frame 20 take it down to zero go to the timing so if you play it now oh i made a mistake with this opacity of i so here it's supposed to be zero and it goes up to one good and we're just going to come to here and take this one down so now we're going to come to this transform node make sure we have viewing it here i'm going to add a transform node here as we have been doing let me come here okay at frame 55 keyframe the center x and y and go to frame 125 and take it all the way up no this one and take this one all the way up out of the screen now come to this transform node and bring it to somewhere around here yes so you have this one now if you go to spline with this transform node you're going to ease out cubic yes so if that's it you have it like that and yes all right if you look at it you see that we are getting there we are getting close to the end and this is the most interesting part so let's open this last fusion completion in the fusion page all of this is three is in 3d space so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a background node and connect the background to my media out i'm going to go to media my media pool drag and drop this eye image here i got this image from pinterest now to this i'm just going to quickly name this eye i'm going to get an image plane to that eye get a camera it's going to create a match i'm going to get a renderer 3d i might connect the renderer to this one since we have the same image as this eye it's basically the same image i'm going to use three image planes i'm going to go to somewhere around frame 30 from 30 i think it's good let's just do ctrl g here and ctrl g here now i'm going to set the the values of this image planes to fit the size of this so you're just going to follow along with me and get the values now i'm going to go to the camera and set the camera the z rotation to 1.7 now i'm going to come to the first image plane which is for this one I'm going to come here. I'm going to set the X translation to 0 0.533. I'm going to set the, the Y translation to minus 0 0.927. And I'm going to set the, the Z translation to minus 6.19. We can't see anything, so I'm just going to hide this image plane. We are going to open them up as we proceed. You see that, that one appears there. I'm going to set the Z to rotation to minus. 63.6 and just bring this y value down you can change the y, y value this value here now i'm going to enable the second image plane which is this one that we have that yes i'm going to enable the next one and the scale i'm going to reduce it to 0 
theory 95 now we have it like that i think you can yes that is it so the next thing what i have to do is i'm just going to come up here get a background node get a text node and i'm going to maybe zoom this in i'm going to write insane in video editing means ultra creative fast and visually mind-blowing let's take it to the screen i'm going to change the color to black and i'm going to make this left align like so i'm going to change the size these are the settings this is the size this is the center x and y i'm going to just do the same thing Control c here and Control v in video editing visual means what appears on screen to create mood style and storytelling Control c this text Control v here and i'm going to connect this one here like that so we have something like this i'm just going to connect this to an image plane and bring the image plane into this merge node and if you want to take values these are the values center x and y center x and y center x and y center x and y and make sure we are back to v in this one i'm going to go here change the z translation of this image plane to minus 3.52 you can copy these values if let's just animate this text once of all okay this visual has an opacity animation so come to the text the visual text this is it keyframe the opacity at frame 20 go to frame 27 keyframe it again go back and take it down to zero now if you look at this one it has the same thing uh the same animation so we're going to just do the same thing we have been doing before well i think this this value works i think this is i don't yeah i think this one is okay now let's go back to this one we have the same thing so i'm just going to go back to 25 go back here 25 and yes let's go to this camera we can you can use the camera or you search for a transform 3d add that there at frame zero we're just going to keyframe this value here and frame 30 we're going to keyframe it again go back to frame zero and make sure you take it out of the screen like that so we're just going to go to spline zoom to fit is out cubic and if you play that now yes i think that is good yes so if you look at it from frame you can't really see it well because it's on it's a white background but if there's a white you see that there's a white ellipse covering the screen at frame 30 we have to do this one so i'm just going to get a background node get an ellipse mask and connect the ellipse to the background in this ellipse i'm going to create the expression at width and connect the width to the height and make this background color this white color here now i'm going to get the ellipse from here the ellipse is at this corner move the center to this at frame 30 keyframe the height and go to somewhere like frame 40 yes where it covers the entire screen keyframe it again now at this frame 30 it should be zero then go to this one it should cover the screen so you just increase this until it's able to cover the screen something like so, so we're just going to take this ellipse to spline well something like this would do yes and with that we're done now if i go back to my edit page and i try to play this for you let me just bring this to the bigger screen if you have done this tutorial from part one and now part two you have something like this yeah if you have gotten value out of this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one take care and bye bye